A great new feature that WordPress added in version 3.4 was the ability to directly embed tweets into a post or page. Uh, it does a lot of neat formatting, and all you have to do is give it a link. I'll show you how that works. So we'll go to a post. We'll just pull up the Hello World one. Okay, so here's our post, the generic one that comes with it. We want to add a little embedded tweet. So let's pull up Twitter, um, where I get the most use out of my tablet. When you pull up a post, what you want to do is click on the date stamp on the side here, and that'll give you a link to that exact post. It's a big long link now, twitter.com slash mcmill slash slattis, a big number that's directly to that individual tweet, not to a Twitter account, but to that tweet itself. So we'll copy that link, go into our post, and what I usually like to do is stay in HTML mode here and paste it in. I'll show you why in a second. So that gives us a nice clean link. If we were to paste it from the address bar like that in the visual editor, what it'll do, we'll paste it in here, it will actually link that, that text. It needs to just show the link and not actually be linked, which admittedly is a little tricky and I wish WordPress would fix that, but for now it cannot be linked. So one way or another, have the link to that tweet, but don't have the text linked. Just have it be just boring plain text there. And once you do that, we'll hit update to save that post. And it still looks like that in your back end, but if we go out to the site and refresh, you'll see now it does this great little wrapper. It shows my name and links to my Twitter account, gives people the follow option, shows the whole tweet with a timestamp, all the stuff you'd see from Twitter all right there without having to do any work. We just had to put a link to that tweet and Facebook handles the rest. So neat little feature and a great way to share tweets. If you want to, if you have a post that's talking about a tweet, like can you believe what so-and-so said or, um, you know, anything like that, you can you can embed it that way. The one thing to be careful of is if, if it's a very noteworthy tweet that you think might get deleted, a mistake from a company or something, you want to get a screenshot because, of course, if this tweet gets deleted from Twitter, then this plugin on here obviously won't be able to find it and it'll go away there as well. But for normal tweets, this is a great way to do it, and I hope you find that helpful. Thanks.